sweat droplets are dripping on a cold, hard ground. <laughs> Chank is groaning. Chank is onion nuggets. Now, the brown buffalo. The time has come, Paul. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I've been waiting so long. Did I've been, been so long, so long, so long, so long. I think it's one of the requirements for Jank to appear on these shows. They, give, they have several towels on standby. I think so, yes. I agree. Oh, God. But I, I oh, like my God. Things. He is drenched, bro. Right I mean, off top. He's already, yeah, like right out the gate. Dude, yeah, he he's is already, sweaty. He's already and, nice and, sh and sh uh, sp hey, Pierce. Dude, I've there. been doing outside streams and it's been a hundred something over here. You know what I mean? And he looks like me when I finally give up and go like, all right, I got to call him. Eat. I got to go back outside, please. And he's, he's in, in, a, he's he's in, in the studio. Somewhere. Yeah. He's in the studio with like air conditioner blowing right on him and like an assistant that dabs him. I thought that Joe Biden would crush Donald Trump in 2020. I, he actually won by less than I thought he would because I was reading the polls. Well, yeah, there it is. Well, that's yeah. all you get, Paul. It's, it's ad time, even though you've got YouTube premium for some it's reason. It's ad time. I don't have YouTube premium. So oh, Scotty you don't? And all right, here we go. But I am on, like, I don't know. I was right about the the overall popular vote count. I was surprised at how close the swing states were. Uh, and that's because Joe Biden at that point had a 52 percent approval rating. And I base things not on my emotions, but I'm, you know, maybe you should do what that uh, that chick right there is doing, whatever, whoever she is, that Tommy that Lauren, Tommy Loren, Loren, Lauren, Tommy Lauren. Yeah. Why not? Why don't she got to spell it so weird? But anyway, maybe you should get I, like some of that shit that, that kind of diffuses it a little bit, you know, so it's like more smooth. Because she's got the same shininess, but it's like more diffused. Whereas his is very like sharp, you know? Yeah. And well, she's also got way better makeup. Like, I mean, look at the contouring on her. I mean, right. she's fierce right now, dude. I'm not even going to lie to you. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe Jank needs like a makeup artist. That like, is that Lex, that's Lex Friedman or is that Brian Taylor Cohen on the end? I can never tell the difference. No. Idea. Well, it, it says on the video, Brian, oh, okay. Brian, it it Brian Tyler, Tyler Cohen. There are two guys that get them mixed up constantly, but he's looking pretty fresh. Pierce looks like a f mummy, but whatever. He always has. I, you mean, know I mean, it's Pierce Morgan. You can't really do much with it. He His looks fucking lit weird. He looks red. It he looks, looks like very red. red. Yeah, they've got him red shifted versus all these other people. For some you know reason. what it you know what it really is because uh, it happens to me a lot too. Like, um, it's if you if you're a really pale. Mm -hmm. and you're under most like camera lighting you will kind of turn a little red yeah so i think he's well, probably like got... a light that turn well like it's flashing three different things like it's going red now so it's gonna be right so red obviously red you're gonna look red under a red light right but you yes, know yes. under normal circumstances i you i make sure my lighting isn't making me look like i'm he looks like a rummy dude he looks like a wino facts and numbers do you want to know what his approval rating is now it's 37 percent it's 50 15 points lower. There is no one who understands one thing about politics who doesn't think, oh, a guy who's 15 points lower than he was has just as good a chance of winning. Remember, he barely won the swing states last time by 44,000 votes. He has no chance of winning. Um, I pretty much agree with that, but man, he is drenched in sweat. Well, <laughs> DJ, this is why we here at Deep Fat Fried over the last three cycles have developed the vaunted Uger Sweat Index to predict the election. And I'm telling you right now, it is too early. As a Ugerologist, looking good though. As, you, as a Ugerologist, it is too early for me to say this is a Joe Biden loss based on the precipitation and the density of sweat on the forehead and the sheen of oil and sweat on the nose. But if he looks like this on election night, I mean, Scotty, second voice me on this one as a fellow Ugarologist. That is not good. 
I mean, Look, I mean, the number so of dads. I, I noticed something in this clip just now that I have not okay. noticed on him before. What was it? What's that? So uh, when Uger has, has sweat in the past, I have noticed the sheen of sweat. Yes. But when he was moving around just now, I saw on his forehead there was like starting to be beads. Beads. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, and we I've, saw I, beads. I, I don't recall ever seeing clearly defined beads in the past. Well, so there's a few things, you. TJ, every I, time these shows happen that you need to look out for. So we should look at the, the early coverage. We'll change, change his shirt. I mean, usually there will right. be a shirt change. Sure. How much yeah, dabbing? We will have to be watching that because he has caught on to that. And so he's got multiple shirts of the same style. So we will have to measure the dampness of the shirt, the crispness of the collar. True. And know when he's changed into a shirt. Now, nope. your 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 contention that there have never been beads. I'm not saying there's never been beads. I'm just saying I have never really noticed pronounced obvious beads before. Beading is rare, but it was last seen in a pronounced way in 2016. Okay. One in the 30s. And well, that that was there was a perfect shot of it just a second. Oh ago. my I god! Tried. Yeah, you can see it's it. Beading. Oh, dude, it's yeah, it's beading. Yeah. yeah, there are two in the city, house. dude. There are at least two, maybe even I three. I see two or three beads, beads right there yeah. on the forehead. Yeah, and on the, yes, and, and I believe it might be in, okay. in, in like a bead that might run down that nose and drip off the tip. Look at that. So winning. No one in the 30s. And, and Oh, it's there's like a whole layer, dude. I mean, it is not just like that sheen. It is, there is a thick layer of sweat on his I forehead. I mean, contractually, Jank needs to have a, a camera switch here. Like, so he can, wow. like, towel provided to him. He can dab his, go back, you know. He'll be good for a couple it, minutes, you know. Dude, when it's his turn not to talk, he ooh. can dab again. As a, uh, as, a, as a completely and utterly unbiased pollster, right, who doesn't have a dog in this horse, as I like to say, okay? I don't have a dog in this horse. Of course not. Okay? Yeah. I have to tell you, and I don't want to be called a doomsayer, but if I were a Joe Biden supporter right now, this, this is like a tsunami warning level event, okay? We're not talking about a sheen. We're not talking about a misting as we've seen in the past, like in 2020, there was a misting, right? Yeah. There are beads. Now, us three have identified at least three beads, possibly a fourth. And one could say that if there are three beads on the forehead, there are many beads in the scalp waiting okay. to appear i mean using our thermal technology if we were able to have a body shot of jank i think we would see elevated levels of sweat under his arms uh, i mean i hate to say it is tamed by his nuts i mean swamp ass i mean dude, i mean if talking, we could if we could only a full get, body event his lower back tj sweat if we could get some back. kind of dude if we could get someone to be sniffing his balls at all times i guarantee this would not even be called the sweat index. it would be called the ball stench index right Oh, Dinor agrees. Dinor, yeah. I mean, obviously oh. sensing it right now. And look, I mean, good job, Dinor. If I'm basing it on what I see, I mean, I was at a concert last night, okay? Or not the not last night, but I think it was the night before. Surrounded by sweaties, right? I was at a concert. I was, it was hot. I was dancing around. I was like moving my body and shit for pretty much four hours straight. And I got to say, and I was wearing this hat the whole time. Oh. And I got to say, even with all that going on, there was not, I mean, I was maybe at his level of sweat after all that exertion. And I'm a fat dude. I don't move around all that much. And even I was not at this level of sweat that he's at right now, just disgusting. sitting there talking about this. Shit. I mean, it's disgusting to be at this level, but I mean, with our, with our, you know, patent pending thermal, uh, jank ray technology, TJ, we can tell you the sweat meter right now. I mean, we're, it's, we're not a critical mass yet, but we have not gotten a lot of bad news. I mean, so this is just, this is Jank, like, you know, kind of feeling anxiety about the future. When that night transpires, obviously, if the votes do not go the way that Jank believes they're going to go, I mean, well, actually, the way he does believe they're going to go, I mean, that sweat index might reach critical mass, DJ. He might reach critical I'm sweat. Telling like, you, where his, his clothes you, will be completely soaked top if to you bottom. Could, if you could smell those balls right now, they went from their normal, I mean, I think the default smell of Jinx balls is well, probably like apple cider vinegar, but right now it's like at that, it's like rice wine vinegar or something. Well, you know? in the world of in the world of ugarology, there is one foible, right? We have written to Chank, please 
allow us when you go live to put monitoring devices unobtrusively on your body that would measure things like vinegar level on the balls, mm -hmm. level of taint sweat, how much taint sweat is accruing at the butthole, and which direction is that taint sweat coming from? Is it is it dripping down the back or coming from the taint itself, right, mm -hmm. through the crack? Yeah. So all of these things we've asked very, very discreetly, can we please measure this? And he's never gotten back to, to any of us, to my knowledge. And that's ridiculous because, I mean, this is not... This started off. I mean, I'll be. I'll admit to you. I mean, it started off as a form of mockery, but at this point, this is for science. No, this is science. No, we have set aside any sort of like judgments or reservations. This is purely a scientific endeavor at this point. Yes, I mean, of How course. American history has ever won re-election. Ever, it's never been done, and we're to believe that the guy who could barely talk and speak is going to pull off the most miraculous comeback in American political. Yes, dude. That is what you're to believe. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Chank. Like, I'm feeling the frustration, too. I really am. But this sweat index has got me thinking, man. It's like, I've been thinking, like, man, it's a horse race. I can't really call it yet. But I'm starting to think, like, when you see early warnings like this, it's like, okay, you guys, right, mm -hmm. from the Gulf. So when they say, like, you know, these low pressure systems are starting to develop in the Caribbean and in the South Atlantic, right? You guys know that doesn't mean a storm's coming tomorrow, right? But you know, that means that storm season has begun. And I will say that as a ugurologist right now, storm season has begun for the DNC and Joe Biden. It this has. Index I mean, it's like there's a... The you know, there's, I mean, this is like, there is a tropical storm in the Gulf for sure. Yeah. And it's game. You know, like it, look, there's sometimes those storms, you know, they miss the continental US. They just grow up the coast. I don't know. It's it's we're, seeing, or something. we're seeing strong rotation on this one. Okay. Strong rotation and a very clear eye in the form of those three beads in the center of the forehead that we're looking at here. But at this point, I mean, look, it could, it, it could, could be a Direct hit, but I mean, it could also miss. Could be yeah, a glancing true. blow. We don't Sorry, know but that's just denying reality. And I, unlike apparently every other Democratic establishment person, I don't want to lose to Trump. But apparently, they don't mind losing to him at all. You'd be mental to run a guy at thirty-seven percent approval. Incumbency is an albatross around his neck. So is his age, etc. So if you don't want to beat Trump, fine. Uh, you raise your hand and say, I love authoritarian leadership. I Whoa. Not, not, you know what? It's not that, though, Hold Chank. on. Did you oh, see this goodness. shit? Fine. Uh, Chank, uh, I've got to correct you on that, Chank. Hold on. Hold on I, one second. It is not authoritarian I, leadership. Uh, do you think a bead is about to let go? Is that where you're... you're no, I just... There was... I saw something. I'm trying to... Fucking, you're trying to get uh, it? Oh, my what God. Oh, my word. It's like a... Right, gentlemen. A spring has angle. formed... Okay, I need to change my prescriptions now. I did not see this angle. Okay, this is no longer damp. This is no longer even wet. This is a so deluge of scalp moisture. Okay, so now we're f Okay, now, now all that shit I said earlier about not being able to call it, Donald Trump is winning this election, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, as we speak, he's walking into the White House. That, look, that... You guys know what I'm talking about as ugurologists. That sheen implies only one thing, moisture. And that moisture, as you can see, is in a long stripe across the forehead leading up to the hairline. This is exactly what we saw back in 2016, guys. Early on. We're reliving the only this time it's happening, you know, <clears throat> months before the right, election. Months I mean. before the event. I mean, we would expect to see this type of precipitation on the uger. Uh, forehead well into election night uh, this year well into 2024 election night but to see it here in an interview months from the event is unprecedented i mean it's a sign of climate change i think um, the, the sweats are thicker they're deeper and they are wetter than they ever have been oh in front of the democratic whoa hold on we gotta see that in slow-mo Oh, that is, is. Look at the sheen. Oh, I think I saw oh. droplets, dude. Hold on. Did you see droplets? I think I did. So no. This is a Slow it down. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to slow this down. Sarah, I need to get bitch down, man. So if you don't want to be saw a drop, it's when he starts Trump. Oh, 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 I think I saw him. Hold on. All right. I'm going to play it real slow. Okay. Dude, are you using your arrow keys? Because like those will advance like by frame by frame. I'm doing it. It does like five seconds at a time. Unfortunately. Oh, it does. Yeah, it doesn't do it. Frame. I mean, maybe it does on yours. I don't know. But on mine, it's like like a, like a second or five seconds or something like that. Lame. But I'm slowing this bitch way down. Albatross around his neck. So is his age, etc. So if you don't want to be. All right, I think we're getting close. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, his neck, too. There's, oh, look at his neck down at the shirt line when he bent down there. It's slick. It's slick. Do you see it? Oh, he's sweating through his suit. It's oh, oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Is there beating? I'm pretty sure there was, dude. Oh, TJ, you have to feather it back. I know. Oh, you raise. Oh, fine. Now I know where it is. Oh, you Oh, that's beating. Whoa, that's definitely beating, dude. There's beating. What the? F All right, boys, lock it in. Lock it in. There's beating. Uh, first beating sighting outside of a fucking electoral month, and I don't know how long. The whole I've time I've been a Ugarola. This is a worrying trend. Uh, this is unprecedented. This is There's beating. Wow, this is not something we cannot plan for. Uh, early of course, indication, probably. We're going to this to other Ugarologists and other countries to get independently verified. But I'm willing to say right now, with my knowledge base, there is clear beating. I love authoritarian. Oh yeah, you can see the drips coming down his face. Oh, oh it's dripping! It's oh, dripping! God, it's dripping! Oh God, it, dude, go back! Go back! One fell it's off his nose. One came down the right off the edge, right here. Watch, right here. Leadership. Bloop. I. Right there. Leadership. I bow. Oh. It's a, oh, look at the shirt! Look at the shirt! Spots. Do you see the spots? Mark spots on the shirt. Establishment. I uh, will someone give Jank a towel, please. Defy you. Good. He is unhinged. <laughs> this is crazy. <clears throat> I have never seen the Uger index off the charts like this unless it was an election night. And really, not in, not since 2016 have I even seen anything close to this kind of I mean, this, activity. This surpasses 2016 in terms of sweat. I don't know. What I that mean, I think we're gonna means. have to assemble the count the council of Ugarologists to really consult on this. This is unprecedented. Uh, sweating, a level we have not seen really since 2016. It just. <sighs> That's full sheen. Guys, we have 100% sheen confirmed. We have 100%. Hold on. I got to get on the council uh, hotline real quick. Just give me a second, guys. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Ugarologist. This is uh, Ugarologist Paul Zigo. 717875 is my uh, verification number. We are getting some readings over here at the Deep Fat Fried offices. They're a little concerning. Um, I am confirming with three Ugarologists signing on uh, is Scotty Kirk and also TJ Kirk. And we're seeing full sheen. We are looking at 100% sheen coverage on the forehead right now, and we oh want to see if you God. can independently verify. Uh, it's the Pierce oh, Morgan that. interview. Yeah, we got some drop. We have droplet brain. activity. <sighs> yeah, droplet activity. We've seen yeah. clear activity of beading, clear activity of scalp sweating, and possible shirt discoloration. Um, Tell them about the nose drop, dude. I didn't even want to say it. I didn't even want to say it. We're pretty sure we have a confirmed slip and slide nose drop. Um, and this is crazy because, you know, we're looking at these numbers and results and we're I, thinking, I, are we out of our minds? I mean, it's we've not never November. had a, a drop, a drop at like activity like that. I can't no, even, I mean, is, like this even 2016, this surpasses the activity. storm of 2016 in terms of sheer sweat. I mean, 
I mean, an event this early, this has to be an anomaly. I mean, I don't even know what sort of conditions we can expect on election night if this is what we're seeing now. I mean, the Fujiko scale doesn't even scale this high is what we're saying to you guys. Um, You know, it's, you know, cat five is the highest that goes. Under the Fujiko scale, we're looking at something that's at least cat six. Yeah, I think that uh, K Ocho here is right. I think we're looking at what we would, we'd have to call a Crisco slick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crisco, a Crisco <laughs> level? I mean, this is, this is not just wow. water. This is grease. There's grease accumulation. So it's a deep, it's a deep flop sweat. The pores are clean, cleansing the grease out of themselves. And we're seeing a full sheen. You're absolutely right. I mean, Scotty, could you call this anything else? I mean, guys, I'd honestly like to call it anything but that. But I mean, I, no matter what angle I look at, I mean, I'm, I'm reporting 100% full sheen activity. Does it matter if you roll out of Mad King with no clothes? <laughs> Jake sounds like a, like a toddler in a grown man's body trying to explain something to me. Yeah. Yes. He's unhinged. Clothes. And I don't mind losing the Trump. So if you... Look at poor Brian Taylor Cohen over there. He looks concerned. I think... I've th- I've long thought that Brian Taylor Cohen might be an amateur ugurologist. And I'm thinking he's reading that Fujiko scale reading that we're reading right now and thinking, me, Dear man. Dear God. Look, look, at his, look at the concern in his eyes. He looks like he's about to cry. Dear God. Oh, no. Look at that. Could, could it really be this bad? Oh, look at the crevice. You see the buildup in the crease, the natural forehead crease? Yep. It's like a somebody took a white Sharpie to his head. This is not good. This is And we'll have a great chance. The question that, that, that is on my mind, and I would love to be able to ask anybody and listen. Anybody that works on Chank's show, we will provide you complete anonymity to ask a- and answer a few questions of you about the sweat index because Chank has stonewalled us on this, and this is actually dangerous. I would wonder, because this would be really horrible. Do you guys think we've, we've identified a slick? We've identified a beating, right? Definite beating. I mean, we've identified what we Gee. believe to be a slip and slide nose drop. This is not just a normal slick. This is a grease slick. So we've we've identified the presence of oil and grease. What do you do? You don't think he's sweating out food smell, do you? I mean, we have. I mean, because we've never actually been able to study him, we don't really know what the base. There have been reports of that, is. so they cannot be the confirmed nor like, denied. Unfortunately, we don't know the baseline smell of Jank Uger. We don't right. know the baseline ball Nobody stench of Jank Uger. We don't know the baseline um, swamp ass of Jank Uger. So, I mean, there's a lot of studies that need to be done. We need to measure levels of uh, perspiration at, when he's not in a stressed environment. We need to measure levels of perspiration when he's in an environment like this. Reach out to me privately, okay? Reach out to reach out um, to TJ you, privately, and we will provide you 100% anonymity. But we, the public, needs to know. Because now, do you think we do you think we could be getting a false reading? Because maybe there is, maybe well, this that's is what an, I'm saying. That's maybe what I'm this saying. is an unusually hot studio set or something <laughs> no, like that. Could these, could these be meat sweats? I mean, let's be honest. Right. Jank works you know, on a giant set normally. That's right. Be but nothing this is him. this is not his typical set. Maybe this is a a, a much harder hotter set for some reason. Maybe. Maybe Pierce Morgan is, you know, aware of the U- we Uger sweat index, and he's cranked. He's ordered them to crank up the the, the heat, heat to try to, you know, oh, wow. throw our readings off. I mean, without outside influence, if this is an actual reading, this is monumental. I mean, it's. I, I, I'm just trying to think of other explanations because it Meat boggles sweat. the mind to think. Did he, did he have a big sh- plate of shawarma before he came in? You know, and he's got the meat sweats. I mean, one thing I will say is that typically when Jank has the meat sweats, you see more on the side. Yeah, the yeah, the side. Yeah, exactly. Right, the temple you know, sweats. You see more of that temple sweat. You know, almost like he's concentrating on the meat he just and, ate. You know, and the upper lip as well. You see yeah. uh, beating and and sheen on the upper lip. There's none of that here. This is all forehead, all scalp, all nose. And this is, I mean, typically that's been characterized. By, you know, the Uyghur, uh, Uyghur sweat index of, you know, like, 
you know, when it comes, you know, to election prediction and stuff. Yes. And uh, divination. Yeah. And uh, that's what we're seeing here. But I mean, I'm, I just it's almost like there has to be another explanation because this is just so pronounced. These have to be so false, far maybe. before the election. I mean, well, we're going to have to gather more data. I mean, more data points. Up, obviously, we definitely Jacob's need to early. show this to the entire, you know, Uger Sweat Index community. Yes. And get some other opinions on this. Because, I mean, what we're seeing here, I mean, obviously. It's unprecedented. Paul, you're one of the foremost experts. And, you know, Scotty and I are no slouches either. But, like, this is uh, unprecedented. I mean, there's really nothing in the science to account for these numbers yet. We haven't invented a catastrophe that's this big yet. So we've got to go back to the drawing board. We've got to get some independent verification and we need to be watching like hawks everything well, Chank does from here on out. So because to try to explain this to the layman in the audience who are not like, you know, into this scientific discipline, this would be the equivalent of a tornado just suddenly showing up on a sunny day. Right. You know, I mean, it, it, it makes no sense. It defies all conventional logic and reason in terms of what we would expect to see. Uh, but, you know, yet, I mean, the readings are, are clear here. I it's mean, terrifying. It's like I don't mean I, to be alarmist, but it is terrifying. I mean, this is a, a, a we, went up, we went to bed in a crazy world and woke up an even more insane one. Fellas. Right. I mean, this is a hitherto unobserved phenomena. And, you know, maybe at some point we'll have a clearer understanding and we won't it won't be so disconcerting. But right now, I mean, this is very troubling. Very troubling. And that's really <laughs> underscoring. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to panic people, but you know. I don't either. But I also don't want to underscore because <laughs> undercut. Hey. Oh dear God! My, <laughs> from bad to worse. Oh no! He looks like he's fold. literally melting in the studio. It's in he the fold. He looks fold. like he's f- melting. We've got drips down into the folds now, ladies and gentlemen. See that pronounced uh, sheen inside of the nasolabial folds going down the side of his mouth there, coming off the nostril? Mm-hmm. That's that's not good. We've got full inundation, almost. Women. There's not even a theoretical model for full inundation. I am going... I mean, to... saturation levels have risen steadily. Let's say we have a clearer view of Jank in this next segment here. Oh dear Jesus! Oh, oh Lord. my God! We're at critical. We're oh, we're critical saturation, guys. We're critical saturation. I, I mean, don't even know what to. Uh, I'm looking at here. Honestly, this is like another world on the chin. <laughs> oh, it's on. Chin. It's reached the chin. The, the chin, chin the nose. Saturation. We have a hundred percent facial saturation. Oh, God, for the first time in oh, urologist yeah. history, it's on the chin. Do you know what this means, guys? I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, let it's me over, fucking tell you what this means, TJ. It means Gabriel has blown, blown his horn. It means he sounded the trumpet at the edge of the f- world, man. This means this is devastation. We're talking about everything that everybody's ever said bad about Trump multiplied by a thousand. We're talking about fire and blood and demons running in the street, man. Oh, fuck me. Remember Alien CJ game over, man. It's it's game over, dude. Yeah, this None. is this is the, the the you know what, dude? We just lost our last life. Oh, oh god, Shit. we're in trouble. Dude, we're f- <coughs> fuck, man. It's over, guys. It's over. I mean, listen. It's over. Call Paul. your family. Oh, call your family. Call your family and tell them that you love them. Get to them if you can. There isn't much time. I mean, come on. Oh, Oh, this angle is terrifying. All of them are terrifying. I mean, Jake looks just lost. Sweaty, saturated, and lost. <sighs> the seventh seal has been opened. Dude, will you drink from that last offered cup, TJ? Is it full? <laughs> What's it fill? Is it filled with Jenks? It's full you of Jenks. You don't get to know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Will you when drink? When the sweat comes around. <laughs> yeah, when the sweat drips on down. <laughs> hear the driplets, hear the droplets. 
<laughs> one one hundred million sweat beads singing. <laughs> Sweat droplets are dripping on a cold, hard ground. <laughs> Chank is groaning. Chank is sighing. A rictus mask of concern during that whole thing. Oh, bro. She was just like, yeah. Okay, Chank. And he was like, <laughs> the whirlwind is in the thorn trees. <laughs> uh, 